Okay, uh, Kishan, you can start your topic. Okay, sir. Good morning, everyone. Today, my topic is fourth cranial nerve palsy, superior oblique palsy. Go to the uh, the trochlear nerve is enter. Ah, yes, sir. Go to the this thing full screen mode. Full screen mode is. Let's check the display setting. Okay, you have to uh, duplicate the displays. Fine, okay. Okay, just continue. I think you have sc uh, shared the screen and not the presentation. Um, presentation. Stop share and uh, then <coughs> stop share in the Zoom. Again, start share. No, keep the PowerPoint open only. Keep the PowerPoint open only. This is your uh, open stop. Stop the Zoom share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, start from the first slide. Hello, good day. good morning, everyone. Superior oblique nerve palsy. Today is my topic. Uh, the anatomy of the trochlear nerve. The trochlear nerve is entirely motor function and supply only the uh, superior oblique muscle. Uh, the cranial nerve is arise from the dors uh, dorsal side of the midbrain. Uh, it arise from the contralateral side of the nucleus and longest and thinnest cranial nerve pores. Uh, the trochlear uh, nucleus of the trochlear nerve. Uh, trochlear nucleus is situated ventromedially part of the gray matter uh, at the level of the inferior colliculus. Uh, caudally to the continuous with third cranial nerve nucleus complex and it arises from the contralateral side of the nucleus. Uh, the course and distribution is divided into four parts fascicular, precavernous, cavernous, or uh, intracavernous, and intraorbital. Uh, fascicular part. Uh, the efferent fiber which after leaving the nucleus passes posteri uh, posteriorly around the uh, 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 periaqueduct gray matter and goes to the contralateral side uh, goes to contralateral side completely uh, pre cavernous part it then wi uh, wind around the superior cerebral peduncle and uh, cerebral peduncle just above the bones uh, it passes between the superior uh, posterior uh, cerebral and superior cerebellar artery and pierces the dura mater roof, uh, roof of the cavernous sinus and enter the cavernous sinus. Uh, cavernous part, the now runs for <clears throat> forward in its lateral wall and, ocul uh, and oculomotor now with and above the first division of the uh, fifth cranial now. Leave the sinus to pass uh, through the lateral wall of the superior orbital fissal where it lies to superior lateral uh, to the annular of scene and intraorbital part. Uh, the nerve passes medially about the origin of the LPS muscle and uh, and to the uh, supply the superior oblique muscle. <coughs> uh, now third cranial nerve palsy, uh, fourth cranial nerve palsy. Uh, congenital cause of forty percent, uh, in, including lex uh, laxity of the tendon, abnormal uh, abnormally ten uh, long tendon. Uh, misdirection tendon, absence of the tendon, and posterior insertion into the tendon capsule. Uh, acquired cause, idiopathic 20%, uh, trauma 34%, frequently caused bilaterally palsy due to the impact of the area at the me uh, anterior medullary venum uh, where uh, the two now is uh, uh, crossing. Uh, 
वैस्क्युलर एंड न्यूरोलॉजिकल कॉज इज थ्री टू फाइव परसेंट एंड एन्यूरेजमल एंड ट्यूमर आर रेयर कॉज हाइड्रोजेनिक कॉज इज नॉट मैं परसेंटेज एंड न्यूरो सर्जरी साइनस सर्जरी एंड ऑर्बिटल सर्जरी द क्लिनिकल फीचर सुपरा न्यूक्लियर लीजन दैट कॉज लॉस ऑफ द कंजुकेट मोमेंट ऑफ द आईबोल एंड न्यूक्लियर लीजन द फाइबर ऑफ द नव न्यूक्लियर लीजन द फाइबर ऑफ द नव विथ इन द मिड ब्रेन बिफोर देर क्रॉसिंग एंड दे दे अकर पेरालाइस ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रालेट्रल सुपीरियर ऑब्लिक मसल पालसी एंड फीचर एस्थेनोपिया डिप्लोपिया Uh, diplopia is acute onset vertical diplopia and which more on downward gaze and noted the uh, patient while coming down stair and while doing near <coughs> near work head tilt to the opposite side uh, chin is down in v uh, v pattern isotro uh, v pattern isotropia to avoid the diplopia uh, facial asymmetry mid facial hypoplasia on the side of uh, in, uh, on the side of the tilt and there is limitation of the depression on adduction a uh, muscle ex normal muscle action of the uh, superior oblique depression in cyclo torsion and abduction thus the cause of the esophalsy is uh, hypertrophia x cycloversion and v pattern isotropia uh, how to differentiate between unilateral and bilateral palsy in unilateral palsy isotropia in downward is minimal and uh, bilateral palsy v pattern isotropia and unilateral x uh, x cyclo deviation is 10 per uh, 10 degree prism diopter and bilaterally uh, more than 10 degree uh, and unilateral the uh, adduction position is normal mostly and bilateral diminish and head tilt uh, in unilateral increase on tilt to um, ipsilateral side and uh, head hypertrophia on tilt or to other side uh, to the either side Uh, special one test used in the diagnosis of the fourth nerve palsy park uh, belchowski sky three uh, three step test in this test uh, first step is uh, fourth nerve cranial palsy are involved the always hypertrophia so under action of the ipsilateral so and ir and uh, over action of the contralateral io and sr that mentioned in this patient in our hospital uh, this Uh, this ir and so is uh, uh, ipsilateral side uh, this is uh, the left uh, so palsy the maximum deviation is inner square uh, so this is a left eye uh, uh, left eye over uh, over action and under action io and sr uh, second step deviation is worse on the opposite gaze Uh, if the left eye hypertrophia increase on right gaze, implica uh, implicate a left SO or uh, right SR involvement. And uh, third uh, third step is increase in left hypertrophia on left uh, head tilt. Uh, implicate the left SO is involved. Now that person is diplopia charting. Uh, the maximum separation in uh, levo depression and uh, in torsion maximum in the levo depression. Uh, the differential diagnosis skew deviation uh, the sudden acquired hypertrophia with neurological sign with no mes uh, measurable uh, extorsion and thyroid related ophthalmology ir ir is the most commonly affected and brown syndrome ipsilateral io under action and primary io over action absence of the primary position of the hyper, uh, hypertrophia and uh, no head tilt investigation Uh, requiring only the acquired case, non-traumatic cases, as uh, as screening chart, diplopia charting, double metro, uh, double medox ro uh, road test, uh, the demonstrated unilateral on uh, unilateral excyclotorsion, and neurological evaluation for the trauma and tensilon test for the myasthenia gravis. Uh, treatment uh, now non-surgical treatment, amblyopia therapy in children. and uh, segmental membrane prism lower one third of the specs glasses and alternate occlusion and prism the surgical indication is uh, present of the diplopia abnormal head posture and asthenopia 
the aim of the surgery reduce the angle of the vertical strabismus reduce the size of the head posture and the enlarge the binocular vision uh, unilateral esophalsy surgery planning depends on the uh, prism diopter of primary position deviation amount of the io overaction and degree of torsion and uh, traction test so uh, so tendon laxity i will to present i will explain in later uh, traction traction test for the tendon laxity is uh, uh, to demonstrate the two <coughs> uh, two forceps uh, holding the conjunctiva and move the whole direction and the cornea should be uh, present uh, cornea should be exposed to the uh, in front uh, downward to the any conjunctiva uh, uh, lead and not exposed to the cornea uh, so grading usually minus 1 to minus 4 minimal laxity uh, uh, minus 2 is uh, definite laxity minus 3 mark laxity and minus 4 is absent laxity uh, absent tendon laxity almost exclude to congenital esophalsy laxity not uh, expected in acquired es uh, esophalsy and io overaction usually mark when eso is lax and always compare relative laxity between the two eyes. Which muscle is first operated? The uh, ipsilateral IO and SO in, uh, and the contralateral IR and SR. Uh, according to the NEP classification, uh, the match field of the uh, greatest deviation to the muscle and modified by SO tendon laxity and SR contracture. If the deviation is less than 15 prism diopter, a single muscle surgery can be done. If there is uh, IO overaction, uh, the re uh, recession the inferior oblique muscle. And if there is no IO overaction, the resection uh, contralateral IR. If the deviation is more than 15 prism diopter, the surgery is one uh, surgery on two or three muscle. Uh, uh, weakness IO, uh, weakness IO, recession IO plus uh, typically one of the following uh, rec uh, recession contralateral IR and uh, res uh, resection ipsilateral SR if uh, contracted and tuck SO tendon is lax. Uh, when the performing SO tendon tuck, uh, the only lax muscle is present. Uh, always tuck 4 to 6 mm of the tendon tuck enough tendon so it feels tight, uh, tighter than the contralateral SO tendon, tuck enough tendon so that the both I feel similar on uh, SO traction testing and primary position. Uh, bilateral SO palsy, large excyclotorsion generally more than 10 degree, uh, small primary position deviation and alternating hypertropia on head tilt and side gaze, left hypertropia on left head tilt and right hypertropia on right uh, right head tilt. Bilateral SO palsy treatment. Uh, many option are uh, many option uh, uh, with common goal. Uh, the collapse V pattern, uh, reduce chin down posture, uh, nullify primary position hypertropia, and reduce large degree of torsion. The Harada Ito procedure is can be do. Uh, bilateral IO weakening is frequently inadequate, may be more effective to the uh, weakened yoke muscle and can do asymmetric to reduce the primary position hypertrophy. Uh, Arada uh, Ito procedure. Arada Ito procedure for the excyclotorsion, uh, anterior fiber of SOR primary torsion and uh, uh, the advancing the anterior uh, half to one third of the SO insertion fiber uh, to the LR border and uh, strengthening the encyclotorsion to the treat the uh, torsion, uh, excyclotorsion. Now summary to the treatment. If SO palsy, then uh, traction test is positive. Uh, if traction test is positive, then uh, check the uh, uh, tendon uh, is uh, absent or not. If absent the tendon, then uh, resection of the SR and recession of uh, IO and uh, legs tendon.
tuck the SO and uh, weakness, uh, weaken the IO. And if no laxity, uh, then check the IO overaction. If uh, IO overaction is present, then prism diopter more than 15 degrees, uh, 15 degrees, then we uh, weaken the IO. And uh, uh, prism diopter is more than 15 degrees. Uh, then SR contracture, uh, no contra, uh, contralateral IR resection, and uh, uh, if uh, contra, uh, if SR contracture is yes, then SR uh, recession plus IO recession, uh, then no uh, then IO overaction is uh, no, then uh, prism diopter is less than fifteen, then contralateral IR recession, and uh, uh, the prism diopter is fifteen. Uh, then contralateral IR recession and ILSR recession. Thank you, sir. Kishan, how do you diagnose fourth nerve palsy when patient comes in the OPD? Uh, sir, the uh, uh, hypertropia with ex uh, cyclotorsion with uh, sir uh, isotropia, V pattern isotropia, sir. And what are, uh, what are the patient's position? complaints? Start with the complaints. What are the patient complaints when patient comes to you? Uh, asthenopia and sir, downward gaze, uh, uh, diplopia in the downward position. And stair, sir. Oh, and walking to stair. Downward. Right. Okay, that's good. So, first thing is diplopia, that two more in down gaze, either right yes. or left. Okay. Yes. Then? Uh, See, normally uh, the typical complaint is I am looking to left down or right down and I get diplopia. Correct? Yes. That is the commonest complaint. So that should differentiate from other nerve pulses. So that will give you uh, this thing that hint that there is a superior oblique pulse. And what about head uh, tilt? Do you Opposite. see any head tilt? Yeah. So uh, you give the patient to read something, patient is reading either distance or near and patient will have a head tilt to avoid diplopia. Yes. Okay. And third thing, if you take a fundus photo, there will be a, what will be there in the fundus photo? What will be there? Tilted disc, sir. Uh, so I will be extorted. So what will happen to the disc and macula? Normally, what is the position of macula to the disc? 1.5 mm. No, is it exactly horizontal or above or below? Slightly below, sir. Just check the fundus photo again, okay? Normal fundus photo. Then you will come to know what the fundus looks like when the there is a intorsion because, sorry, the extorsion, ex cyclotorsion because this uh, muscle causes in cyclotorsion, right? Yes. So the globe is extorted. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So you find out in the fundus photo how it looks. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, fine. Rest, okay. everything was okay. Okay, investigations are okay. Most common cause, again, is uh, in older age patients, it's metabolic only, mostly diabetic hypertensive. Okay. Yes, sir. Fine. Any other questions? No, sir. Others? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, sir.